Hi everyone and welcome. I hope you're doing good. My name is Dora and this is my third update to Project 10 Swipes. I'm going to be talking you through my progress today of my five polishes that I've been working on, some of them since the intro. Um, we've got one new polish rolling in today, which I'm very excited about. I also generally within these updates talk you through any other and show you any other polishes that I have used over the past four weeks or so um, and any that I might have bought. This wasn't the case, didn't buy any new polish in October, so glad. Um, yeah, like I think it was just starting to get out of hand a bit, like I think each update I was showing like three new shades, like mm -mm, no, 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 we're good now. And finally, and this is a new section of these updates, I'm going to be talking you through some mixing where I am planning on mixing some polishes um, and I've done one mixing already, although you'll see, it's a base coat, so it's not that exciting so far, but yeah, stay tuned for more. Um, let's get into the update. So I've got the Sien Beauty here, Berry Deluxe. Um, I have only used that one additional time since the last update. I'm now at a total of seven uses. I didn't draw a new line, so this is where I was at in the intro. Second update, no, sorry, first update. Second update, ever so slightly lower. But yeah, I haven't, I haven't done a new line, so we're good. Like three more left, and then this will be a rollout. I'm gonna push myself to finish this up during November. So that this can be a rollout for next month. Second item, and this is, I think, quite interesting. I have reached the halfway point. I used it an additional one time in the past month. I'm now at five uses, but it's come to that plate. Sorry, <laughs> didn't even show you. It's this one here. It's a frankened purple nail polish with an ever so slight shimmer in there. It's now, it's now here. So this is where it was at in the intro. After just five uses, I made such a massive jump here. It's now gotten to that point where I'm finding it really hard to use. So this will be one of the shades that I'm going to mix going forward. Um, but I'll come back to that. Let's continue with the progress. Yes. The next polish is my rollout. Yeah, I've, I've hit the 10 uses. Um, for an additional three times that I used it during October. It's on my nails right now. Yeah, I'm quite happy to say that this is a rollout. So for some reason, like, okay, I was here in the intro. In the last update, I was here. Although I'm not sure what happened there because this gap is like tiny. And then now I'm here, like, anyway. I've made the 10 uses. Putting it on today was like quite hard. Like I had to really like put my brush into the bottom, always like twisting it shut so that I, so that it would reach the bottom where the actual polish is. Um, I don't love that. So again, this will be one that I am now going to be mixing. The next polish is this one here, another Franken purple shimmer. I'm still at one use only. I have not used this in the past. I'm still waiting for the weather to cool down a little bit. Um, but yeah, Halloween is still ahead, at least for me <laughs> right now. But yeah, it will stay in here for another nine uses. Last month, I rolled in the Barry M in a flash quick dry nail paint in Pink Burst this one here absolutely love it it's such a nice 80s pink love it love it so much i used it two times and yeah like pink nails just make me so happy i just need to like this was a reminder for myself to make sure that i've always got a pink polish in this kind of shade within my collection at all times even though i do enjoy mixing with them uh but yeah two uses since i rolled it in last month it's staying in here for another eight. Um, I reckon I might be able to make that by the end of the year, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, before we get into the new shade that I'm gonna be pulling into this project and all the mixing that I need to show you or want to show you, I quickly wanna share with you the polishes that I have used throughout the past four and a half weeks. There's the H&M um, Beat It. 
I really like this one. Mm, ever so slightly disappointed with how it looked so different on my nails to what I was imagining it would look like from the bottle. Um, I think I need to get into the habit of applying two coats. I'm normally like a one coat type of person. Um, it's very, very similar to this one, at least in how it looks on my nails. Or, yeah, but anyway, yeah. I'm like, I'm not hating it, don't get me wrong, but I was expecting like this massive wow factor. And yeah, like, I'd still give it like an 8 out of 10. I also used the Catrice Nail Polish in Pink Warrior. Um, doesn't have any shimmer in it either. It's a sort of really nice watermelony pink shade. The next two I used are sort of nail toppers. So one was this one, the My Mood. It's a Boots On brand uh, vegan nail polish in the shade So Dreamy. So I don't know if you can see it properly, but it's got a purple shift in here. So it's not just blue and shimmery. There is a purple shift in there. And I used that on top of the pink Barry M. And it looked amazing together. Like, really loved it. Like, previously I'd only really worn this on top of a pink polish. No, a purple polish. But on top of the pink one, it was something else. Like, love it. Really, really love it. And I also played around with this My Maud Nail Topper here. This is so cosmic, so it's got like a... Um, glitter, glittery gold star in there. Mm, I would not repurchase this again, even though it is vegan. And like in store, it said it was biodegradable glitter. They don't say that here on the on the bottle itself, but mm. the glitter is too thick, so it stays on for like half a day, and then it comes off, and then it leaves like a tiny little mark of gold. On your nail which looks sort of cute but it also it's a shame like if this were like yeah if these were like super thin gold stars that would just because you know obviously your nail is curved right so that would just sort of glide on or like snugly be sitting on top of your nail rather than like this straight line that is then on top of something curved which you get it right it's just you put it you pull it through you put your fingers through your hair and your hair gets stuck in it so it's not very practical it looks super cute maybe something more for like filming or a photo shoot or something like that but yeah anyway hmm right so those were the ones that i've used also i'm like sweating so hard it's not helping that i've got wet hair still somehow it like makes it it makes me feel even more warm all right the nail polish that I have decided to roll in, in place of this purple one here is, da da da, same bottle, another Franken one, it's this orange one. So just so you can compare it to like the watermelon Catrice shade, um, it's definitely more orange. I think, you know, it'll be fun. It's, it's the season for it. Definitely gonna be like a cool Halloween pumpkin kind of no polish anyway 10 uses on this before it can roll out we are currently up here um so just to compare how i was doing with that one not that they're going to be the same consistency but you know same bottle um yeah it will probably bring me all the way down here with 10 uses if it is thicker gloopier than this one then it might even be lower i might even have to do a thing where after five uses, I decide, no, 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 we're already too much down and I have to like mix something else in. My plan is to mix something red in here eventually, but we will get there at some point in the future once I'm done with that. Let's finally talk a little bit about mixing. So I have managed to, by mixing, finish a nail base coat. So this is the Makeup Gallery Well Polished Top and Base Coat with Ginseng. Um, thanks to this project, again, 
at this point, I would like to say thank you, Sanja, because Sanja is the person who came up with this project. It's mainly over on Instagram. So do check out Sanja, give her a follow. She's at what Sanja said, and she's an amazing panner and overall like amazing human being. So make sure you follow her, support her anyway. Um, yeah, so thanks to this project, I had this one in here. This was my first rollout last month an update too. So I was up here when I rolled it in. After 10 uses, I was down here. And then I managed to fill the rest of what was in here into it. So now I'm, I'm even at a higher level now. So the line would just be just above that first line when I introduced it. So yeah, we're up here now, but I'm super glad that I've got an actual empty in my inventory. Yay. Um, okay. So talking mixing, this one's obviously done um, in terms of this project and I am at that halfway point where I'm finding it really hard to use it. So my plan is to put this pink Barry M polish into it. I know it will like cut into my usage in terms of this project, doesn't matter. I'm gonna put some washi tape over it and sort of track. Maybe I'll start tracking from once I have done the mixing. Yeah, I'll do that. So yeah, stay tuned for that and what the color is gonna look like. So these two together, essentially, I mean, it'll be like mostly this color and maybe 30, 40% of this color. So yeah, so stay tuned for that in the next update. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. And then secondly, because this one is like unusable for me now, I'm gonna do something similar. I'm gonna mix this one here. So another Franken purple gold shimmer nail polish that's actually currently in my deck of panning. Doesn't matter, I'll still get the five uses out of it. It'll be all right. But um, yeah, I'm gonna put, they're so similar. I'm gonna insert a picture here because I did put them next to each other on my hand. So you can see that they're super similar. So I'm gonna put whatever I can from this one into here to bring it right back up to the top. And then I'm gonna to have to hit another five uses to make it to my total 10 uses. I think I've spoken my tongue into a twist now already. And like, it's enough. I've showed you like uh, 13 different polishes. Yes. So I'm really excited. November will be cool. So just to show you my color story for November is this. Da -da. All right, that's it for me. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you are having a lovely rest of your day. If you are doing a project 10 swipes, either here or on Instagram, or you're doing like a project, project polish, let me know. I'd love to come and check you out, support you on your channel, or on your Instagram. Um, yeah, like I'm in the zone right now where I'm binging so many playlists right now here on youtube especially and i'm getting back into instagram a little bit as well all right that's it for real now thank you so much and take care Mwah. lots of love Bye.